so you, so we started, I remember we sh- fought, shot you first for Suzanette, mm-hmm. for my mom's website. Um, and you know, you were quickly, quickly a favorite awesome. and, and then you left for Correct. a while and I, I almost jumped off a bridge. I was so sad when you left. Oh, I'm you sorry. Had no idea. I was so sad. I'm sorry. I was so sad. So you left and, um, you went to go fight more, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, the date of 11, 11, 11, I decided I need to get my goals situated in my life. If mm-hmm. I was going to have any self-worth and mm-hmm. pride within myself. Right. So I decided to, uh, leave the industry mm-hmm. and focus on my uh, MMA and jujitsu goals. Mm-hmm. So I spent the next like four, four and a half years, Pursuing my nothing but my jujitsu career all right. day, every day. Because that's what I wanted to see. It's the 10,000 hours concept. If you spend 10,000 hours working on something, that's when you become a master at it. And I felt like uh, me, I was at the time like 31 years old, 32. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't master of anything. I was just a guy that had floated through life and mm-hmm. living an adventure, mm-hmm. which I still want to do, like live that adventure. Mm-hmm. But I was like... I want to make something of myself now. So I basically went to uh, Joao Assis. He's an ADCC world champion. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, man, uh, l- let me train with you. Let me, let me hang out with you. Just like, let me live in your world. Because if you want to be something or be someone, go to the best. Learn from them. They right. know how to do it. Right. So I ate like him, slept like him, spent all day with him. And I got pretty good. I didn't get as good as he, he was, mm-hmm. but I got pretty good. And I really enjoyed the journey. I competed every other month. And I accomplished all the goals that I had wanted to accomplish in life. And I felt this new sense of pride. And mm-hmm. I've learned so much through my jujitsu for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, it just carries over to every aspect of your life. I, mean, I became much more disciplined. I understood the 10,000 hour theory to a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. And I think it made me a better performer and a better person in general. Yeah. Being a martial artist, that is. Right. So yeah. now so now coming back into the industry. And I remember the day that like you texted me and you're like, hey, I'm coming back. And I was like, yes! <laughs> I was like so excited. I was like, Charles Darrow's coming back. I was so happy. Um so what do you feel do you feel like very different this time around? Absolutely. Okay. In like what way? During my time away where I just did nothing but jujitsu, I spent a lot of time working with my best friend who's a motivational speaker. Okay. And he's more than a motivational speaker. He's more than a life coach. He's he's someone that is just really inspiring and gives a shit. And he put a lot of – he made me love myself more, respect myself more. Mm-hmm. He told me that – he made me believe in myself. That's what it is. He mm-hmm. made me believe in myself. And once I started to believe in myself, I realized anything I could accomplish. And I feel like ever since then, I've only focused on things in life that I'm passionate about and I love doing. If I don't love it, I'm not passionate about it, no matter what amount of money comes through, I don't care. Yeah. I just want to do things that make me happy. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm so much more successful because I've just focused on doing what I love. Right, right, you know, right. And I've taken that attitude toward porn now. Because, I mean, after a while, I think I did a little jaded. I was a little angry. And- oh, totally. I, I hear you. I'm kind of at that point right now where I'm just feeling like so burned out. Yes. Yeah. So, so the break was incredible, but it wasn't just a break where I sat on my ass. It was a break where I basically did a spiritual cleansing of myself. Right. Where I learned more about who I was to be confident in myself so I could go back to work and bring a positive energy. Right. And I feel like now that I'm back at work, my goal is to kind of spread that positive energy and let everybody know, like, hey, man, we got a good, be happy, really enjoy yourself. Right. And I'm proud of what I do and I have passion for what I do. And every scene I do, I want to give the best performance that I possibly can. That's my goal, to be as good as I can. Yeah. You know, it's nothing to do with the financial paycheck at the end. It's about what makes me happy. Right, right, right. So what is your, what is your like kind of spiritual, religious beliefs then? Like, what is your... I would say I'm more spiritual. I'm not religious. I don't right. practice any organized group activities like that. Right. But just, just more spiritual. And I think it all comes from within. You know, mm-hmm. I just learned that you create your own universe. Yeah. Your thoughts. Absolutely. You know, everything that you think about comes to fruition. Yeah. So think about good things. Yeah. No one's NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. What you say becomes real. So yeah. if you constantly go... I'm short, I feel like shit, I'm fat, I'm tired, I'm old, I'm sick. You will stay that way. Right. But if you say, how are you doing today? Live in the dream. Yeah. I feel great. Yeah. You know, like keep saying that and it becomes It'll manifest true. itself. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's so true. You know, really what you put out into the universe is absolutely what you get back. And I mean, even if you just want to look at it in the most basic form, you know, and if we're not going to talk about, you know, like quantum physics or spirituality, like 
people just generally are attracted to people with a positive attitude. Yes. You know, when you have a good energy, then people want to work with you. So more people are, are willing to hire you. You're mm-hmm. going to attract better people into your life. You know, and that's, that's the thing that I said about, you know, one of the things that I love about you is that you do come to set with such a positive energy and you're always like, you know, ready to go and you're always happy to be there and you always like bring the mood up, you know? And, Thank and you. that's one of the reasons that I love having you there. So just even like in, you know, the, the simplest form that definitely manifests itself. And it, I'll tell you, I, I had to learn this for, for years. I've been training it because I come from East Coast, Philly, mm-hmm. the hard people. You know, yeah. it's, it's not cool to be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it never is. And, and as I grew older, I started to realize, like, no, that's the wrong mentality. Like, right. I want to be happy. I'm proud to be happy. Yeah. Like, that's what we need to focus on. Just our pure happiness and yeah. the world will be a better place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.